Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. I cannot tell you how excited Synology made me last week when uh, during the uh, Connect 2022 and beyond uh, free webinars that they put on that they talked about SRM 1.3, one, uh, I think, uh, and then also the new router that they have, right? So guess what's coming in the new version of SRM next year. Now, the first router that's going to get the new SRM is going to be this router we're going to look at here in a minute, but we are going to get VLANs and VLAN routings, multiple SSIDs. Um, there's going to be some dedicated mesh stuff happening with the new router being Wi-Fi 6. Whew. So, uh, you know, let's uh, let's hop on over here and uh, take a look at this. So here, in the, and I'll leave a link. Uh, I'll leave a link to this, but it's going to be SRM 1.3, and you're going to have multiple VLANs, multiple SSIDs, just like we're used to with uh, with you know other routers, and. Um, they have done a lot of work on the back end. You know how DSM-7 is faster on devices? Well, SRM 1.3 is faster on devices. Uh, the first device I'm going to show you here real quick. Um, uh, before we get to that, you're going to be able to have five networks and SSIDs. Um, now, I don't know if that means that's how many VLANs we're going to be able to have and if we're going to have to attribute an SSID directly to a VLAN. Like, we'll have to figure out some of those details later. But I am on the list to get one of these routers, and I'm I'm super excited, uh, you know, to, um, to, to get this thing and put it through its paces because you know that I think that Synology has the best parental controls in a router, hands down. Uh, they actually uh, paraphrase me in the video, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's a new app. Uh, they've redesigned the app that's going to make it much easier to manage the Synology router devices from your phones. And I think, don't quote me on this, I could be wrong, but I thought we were looking at centralized management of, of multiple routers, kind of like we can do now with uh, the, the NAS devices. And yeah, here's a little bit of the uh, throughput. So if you look at the RT2600AC, which is their current workhorse, um, running SRM 1.2, you're down a little bit above a thousand, and then uh, if on uh, 1.3, I mean you're up, you know, 2200. And uh, the MR 2200 AC, you can see there is some uh, gains there as well. But let's see. Now this is where they start talking about Wi-Fi 6, and here it is. Here is the RT 6600. AX. So uh, let's just, we'll watch this for just a couple of seconds. And connections back to the system. On the security side of things, this is all powered by SRM 1.3. Here at Synology, we believe that those trends we mentioned before, like IoT and bringer devices, yes, and it, stay, IoT, and BYOD, not going away. And granular traffic control should become default on all routers, including for homes, rather than limited to just business grade network devices. Now, this device offers Here we go. right band Wi Fi 6 with up to 6,600 megabits per second available for total. You know what, and sorry Synology, he's moving a little slow for me here. ...offers up to 4,400 megabits per second in overall throughput, and that can be used as a way to connect to other client devices that they support it, and it can also be so, wireless mesh backhaul. So, yeah, we're going to have uh, 120 megahertz wide um, mesh channel just just for the mesh network. It's going to be fantastic. Now, in addition to the Wi-Fi 6 standard approved in February 2021, the FCC also voted free up more spectrum to general Wi-Fi users, specifically in the 5.9 gigahertz band. Now, extending unlicensed use to this band will effectively provide the first usable 160 megahertz wide. I'm sorry, 160 megahertz wide. However, most Wi-Fi 6 routers on the market today cannot make full use of this 160 megahertz wide band. Your devices also have to be able to make use of that. Now, for wire connection, multi-gigabit support has also... We're going to have 2.5 gig interfaces. The Synology RT 6600AX router has a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port on the back of it. And it looks like it has... A single, a single 2.5 gig port. Specifically set as WAN or LAN, and you cannot actually configure that and change it as you need. However, on the Synology router, you can utilize it as a WAN port to meet multi-gigabit uh, broadband plans. Or it can be used as LAN connecting to other devices that support 2.5G. Or it can also be used as a wired mesh backhaul to help remove any bottlenecks for devices that might be configured and connected down the line. 
the RT 6600 AX router will open up a new segment in the Synology router line. In addition to the existing RT So it's going to be a cut above that RTC 2600 uh, AC. Together with SRM 1.3. So they're looking at an early 2022 release, so that the first six six months of 2022, and SRM 1.3 will also then be released. Now, uh, later on, they do go to you know they do say that 1.3 is going to come out for the the uh, 2600 AC and the MR 2200 AC later um, in the year. We don't know what the what the M uh, MSRP is going to be on this yet, uh, but with an upgraded processor, upgraded memory, and all those things. Let me see if I can find the spec sheet real quick. Uh, let's see. Somewhere they talked about that. And there are some other sites that if you're looking, I think they may have some of the specs. I've asked Synology to send me a presentation just on this router because I'm, I'm super excited. They they had a couple of their NASs they wanted me to look at. And all I can talk about with my PR person is this router. Uh, I don't believe that what we're looking at here is a rendering. I believe that this device probably exists in an alpha or a beta uh, stage. How you get into that, I don't know. Um, but I believe that this is pretty much a, a finished product as we're seeing it. So I'm assuming supply chain and things like that have slowed, slowed things down. So keep your eyes peeled. As soon as I can get this router in, we are going to like do a full review on it. We're going to push it to its limits. We're going to do all kinds of parental controls, all kinds of network controls. Um, and there's a good chance that with the horsepower that this is going to have, this is not the one U appliance that I've been begging for, but there's a good chance that this is going to have enough horsepower uh, with all the QoS stuff that's built in and the granular control. This could end up being a new head-end router for a lot of people. We'll have to see how the VPN stuff works out. Um, but if you can, you know, do a lot of things at full gigabit speed, this router from Synology could be a game changer. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Um, I was really hoping this was coming. I was hoping we get a 1U appliance and there's nothing that says that we're still not going to get a 1U appliance uh, that's got a ton of power behind it. But this is definitely a very, very good uh, step in the right direction. So let me know, really, what do you think about this? Are you excited about this? Are you waiting for it? Put that down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron or using our affiliate links, those are all down below as well. Uh, affiliate links don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.